morning. Psalm 115, verse 3. Our God is in the heavens. He does all that he pleases. Psalm 135, 6. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does in heaven and on earth. Daniel chapter 4. His dominion is an everlasting dominion, and his kingdom endures from generation to generation. He does according to his will among the host of heaven and among the inhabitants of the earth, and none can stay his hand or say to him, What have you done? Can you tell me exactly what God is going to do next or how he's going to do it? When he starts to move, nobody can really has him figured out. You can't fit God to, into anybody's box. He can do things however he wants to. You think he's coming in a chariot to set up a kingdom, and he comes on a donkey to go to a cross. Read the Gospels. Jesus can open blind eyes by laying on his hands, or by putting mud in their eyes and telling them to go wash, or even by spitting in their blind eyes. He can do it however he chooses. Whatever the Lord pleases, he does. We can catch glimpses of what he's going to do. Amos 3, 7, For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secret to his servants, the prophets. John 15, 15, No longer do I call you servants, for the servant does not know what his master is doing. But I have called you friends. For all that I have heard from my Father, I have made known to you. But even when God tells us what he's getting ready to do, remember Isaiah 55, for my thoughts are not your thoughts, nor are my ways your ways my ways, says the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. David said in Psalm 139, verse 6, Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It is high. I cannot attain it. A mighty move of God is still in its beginnings, and he's told us a few things. He has prepared us. But when God begins to move, sometimes all we can do is hold on tight and listen for his instructions daily. Let's pray. Lord, it seems so often lately that I feel just like King David. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me. It's high and I cannot attain it. Forgive me when I've expected you to do things the way I want them to be done, the way I figured it out. Forgive me when I failed to see you working because it wasn't the way I thought you were going to do it. Lord, teach me to follow your still, small voice day by day, moment by moment. Help me to understand when you show me glimpses of what you're doing, that you're still God and your ways and your thoughts are so much higher than mine. Lord, I yield myself to you. I trust in you. I'm holding on even when I don't understand it all. I'm holding on because you are my God and my hope is in you. In Jesus' name, amen.